Greetings uh, YouTube friends. Today I'm going to talk for just a minute about a tool that has become indispensable in my wood shop. Uh, this is a hide uh, four-in-one scraper and it's a profile scraper and it comes with these four blades. Uh, each one has a different characteristic. This one is a uh, a rounded contour. This one is a small uh, flat scraper. Very high quality edges. Uh, usually I've had this set for uh, I've used it on probably four or five projects at this point. It's probably getting close to being needed need to be replaced. Uh, this one has a large flat scraper. You can see just looking at those edges that I've I've used the Dickens out of these things and they've just held up really well you could probably sharpen them um, I'm not real great with sharpening especially if you're trying to get a contour like this um, so I just spend the I think it was like 15 bucks for this um, then there's uh, a large rounded with a large flat on this side and then this is the tool this is the one right here that I probably use more than any and I wish they would just sell this blade because I would just buy this blade but usually I end up buying a whole set but it's especially useful for projects like what you see here this is a side light restoration that we did and you can get down in to these get the camera in the right position you can get down into these really tight uh, crevices and corners for scraping out and flattening uh, segments that are you know in uh, that need to be cleaned out um, the way this works is pretty nifty as well each of these blades is dual so you uh, insert it into this little holder by slipping this through the middle I'm trying to make sure I get that in the video there and then there are two little nubs that uh, slide into the top and then you lock the handle down and that locks the the uh, blade into place um, you can also rotate it so that if you're doing say um, you know sometimes you may want the blade in one one direction or the other depending on which end you're using you can also flip it over so if you're um, for some reason want uh, the the point in a different direction uh, you can change the orientation they all fit in here the same way um, I tend to use most of them in this position where the bevel is on the top and then we'll use it to Let's see if I can find a little spot here. So you can see, I don't want to gouge the wood here, but you can kind of see this. This is a Minwax wood filler that I just finished putting down a little while ago. And I'm going to have to coat that again anyway, so I figure it won't hurt to scrape it a little bit. You know, the contours are good. I don't really have any contours on this one, although actually I do. Um, I used this other small rounded contour pretty heavily in cleaning out this this side light was painted with I don't know probably 20 coats of paint when I picked it up it's from the 1930s and uh, so once we get that locked in there like that this was really helpful for getting into this curvature in the wood when I was doing the stripping so I could run it right along and get all of the paint out particularly when using the stripper looks like I've got a mutton there I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of repair on um, so yeah so that's the hide scraper um, I highly recommend this I'll put a link down in my uh, in my video for you to take a look at it um, pick it up on Amazon uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'm going to try to do more of these videos in the near future, kind of showing hands-on with the various tools that I use and the work that I do. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.